What is up, everybody? If you live in America, then the First Amendment gives you the freedom to love me as much as you want. If you live in America, then the First Amendment gives you the freedom to hate me as much as you want. If you live in America, then that First Amendment gives you the freedom to comment, like, favorite, share, and pretty much do whatever you want to praise the video. It also gives you the same freedom to dislike, flag, block me or comment and tell you how stupid you think I am and that's the beauty of what YouTube is and I'm just making sure that y'all know that y'all have those rights jumping right into the topic now is it me or did the sky get smaller since Modern Warfare 2 because I don't know L let me ask you this what's the most annoying thing in the game to you okay lag compensation yes what's the most annoying thing in the game to you Okay, crazy hip fire of automatics. All right, whatever. What's the most annoying thing in the game? Yeah, that sniper rifle that can shoot as fast as the 5.7 with no recoil. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just tell you what I thought you were going to say. Um, thinking about... Well, let me just say this. Airspace too crowded. I mean, come on, man. I work hard for my kill streaks. Finally get my, my stealth chopper or my or my escort drone or whatever it is that I get. And I try to call it in. And just because my team is doing well, I get the um, airspace too crowded. Now, in Modern Warfare 2, correct me if I'm wrong because I might be. It's been a long time. But I thought that you could have like three different things in the air in Modern Warfare 2. Am I wrong about that? I thought you could have like, I, I don't think you could have two chopper gunners. But um, I think you could have like a Pavlo and a Tag Chopper or, or two pay. I know you could have two Pavlos in the air. I know I've seen that. Um, and it's just so weird because in this game, you cannot call in a lot of, um, you know, air support. And I think that's weird. I don't, and I think that, of course, you don't want to just let the other team get completely dominated. And that's why they did that. But at the end of the day, y'all get to see some 5-7 gameplay from me a little bit. Picked up a guy's 5-7. But at the end of the day, we worked hard for our kill streaks. It's not our fault that we got into the lobby with you and, and you can't stop us. I think you should exercise the capital B rule. And here's the capital B rule. When you know a dude's on a kill streak and you don't want him on that kill streak, you dedicate your next 50 lives to ending his kill streak even if you have to go and die 50 times if you don't want a dude to get on a kill streak if you don't want him to put a pavlo in the air then you stop him from hitting that pavlo in the air i think it's kind of unfair not necessarily unfair but i think it's just kind of weird that we get like moderately punished for you know having the skill to get certain kill streaks um, maybe there should be like a game mode where the airspace can't be too crowded but at the end of the day I think that that, that, that airspace too crowded thing is kind of ridiculous or at least make the airspace a little bigger um, because like I said we got on the kill streaks we worked hard for it and um, I think we deserve to get what we get and man it, it's just I, I just lah I just I hate it when I can't call in my stuff I want to be able to call in my stuff and I just hate that I can't I get an attack chopper oh this is so great because what I do is I see these dudes camping and they had been camping up here for a while and I finally decide you know what I'm gonna stop this I'm gonna end this and I basically decide I'm gonna completely shut down this camping spot I camped up there for a little bit now what I'm doing is I'm coming down here to get them while they're going into it because now they're in extreme caution now I'm gonna call in the hellstorm I think or maybe I'm gonna wait till I go downstairs but then I go downstairs and kinda just leave this area completely let them get back into it because I got engineer tactical mask on I can sneak back in there so easily and it's I shut that camping spot down and that is so beautiful and that's what you should do when you see someone on a kill streak I don't think we should be punished. Oh, you know what? Now you you can't use any more of your kill streak. Sorry. And here's the weird thing about it. Here's the weird thing about it. I can't have two stealth choppers in the air. I can't have two stealth choppers in the air. But you can have what is it? Thirty hundred killer drones flying around in the air along with a stealth chopper. Like that's stupid. Like like 
I'm not trying to be like crazy, crazy anal about it, but that's dumb. You can have like 50, you know, 100 killer drones flying around, but I can't have two stealth choppers. I don't think they thought that through. Um, airspace too crowded. There is so much air up there. You better be able to let me call in my kill streaks or my score streaks, whatever. But um, let me know what y'all think about that. I mean, is it is it a is it a good balance to have a limit on what you can call in and see? I come back and I lay these dudes out again. They thought I was just forgot about them. But is it is it better or is it worse to have um, you know airspace for, um, for like? A limit on the airspace I'm sorry um, because people are gonna be want, wanting to call in their kill streak and here's the here's the major deal nothing dominates the air and you're able to take shit out with with your um with your launchers nothing dominates the air like it did in back in modern warfare 2 it's not like we have the the, the crazy unstoppable you know chopper gunner you know, because it, it was a little bit better in Modern Warfare 2 than it is in this one, in my opinion, uh, as far as just going out there and laying people out. Now, they got more stuff on this new um, chopper gunner, but as far as, like, the stealth chopper, you know, the escort drone, you can step outside and not have to worry about it like you like, so much like you did in other games. We also have Blind Eye and... Um, and what's the other one cold-blooded so you can go out there and whip out your you know I, I don't know what the actual launches are called so I'm just gonna say stinger you can whip that out and start just taking things out of the air and it's not as hard anymore because nothing's dominating the air nothing is, is is whooping you anytime you step outside like in the previous games so with that being said, I think they could uh, allow a little more things to get into the airspace um, so that we can actually call in our kill streaks before the game ends. So let me know what y'all think. The original Grown B is out on this one. I will see y'all in that comment box. Once again, thanks a lot for the support. And if you care enough, you can follow me on Twitter. It's going to be in the description, and I will see y'all later.